First of all, to use the any of post processors from SAX, we need to export the structural analysis result in common solution file format. This can be done with this ampersand minus CSF command. I mean, if this command is, is issued before structural analysis menu, all the results will be written in, C in the common solution file format. And after the structural analysis, we need to go into this structural post processing menu with this str post command. Then issue this post command to use MOSES POST module for member code checks. We can add as many options as needed to choose the code and the load cases or type of report, etc. Also, we provide this kind of drop-down menu for you to choose the options conveniently. This is all you need to do for the structural post processing with state and time domain load cases. I mean, just export the result in the common solution file format with this command, then do the structural analysis and issue the post command under the structural post processing menu. However, as I said earlier, for the frequency domain cases, the result of structural analysis is not something we can use directly for the stability check. I mean, we need one more step to combine response operators with environments and get the result based on probability theory. Let me explain the procedure with the frequency domain cases. First of all, structural analysis in the frequency domain starts from motion RAOs. Then applied the load cases are generated from this RAO. And then structure is solved for each load cases for each period. So we have this kind of internal force RAOs of an entire structure. These two calculations are performed in the structural analysis menu of MOSES. Then, as normal frequency domain procedure, these RAOs need to be combined with the C spectrum. Then we get the response spectrum. In this case, it is the response spectrum of the internal forces. This is done in the structural post-processing menu because this is kind of a post-processing of research. Once we have this kind of response spectrum, we can calculate the root mean square of the forces. And then, assuming peak follows the Rayleigh distribution, we can get the final stresses based on the probability we define. Here, default of the MOSES is 1,000 accidents probability. Of course, we can change to the other values. If you are not familiar with this frequency domain process, this sounds a bit complex, but implementation in MOSES is very easy. Here are the MOSES commands you need for the frequency domain structural analysis. First of all, we need to enter the structural analysis menu with this structural command as usual and compute applied load cases for motion RAOs with this minus RAO option. So after this case command, we have applied force RAOs. Then solve the structures for that applied force RAOs. So at the end of the structural analysis menu, we have internal force RAOs. Next, we need to go into the structural post-processing menu and combine RAOs with the C-spectrum. This computation can be done with this cases post command with minus spectral option. Here, EMV12345, other C environments that are previously defined. After the combination, just issue the post command with the appropriate option for member checks. This is all you need to do in MOSES for the structural analysis in the frequency domain. Next is the MOSES fatigue. To use this module, we need to issue the command fatigue and specify the necessary options such as SN curve, safety factors, etc. Like MOSES POST, the drop-down menu is also available. So these are the new MOSES structural post processor. And in the next page, 
Let me show you a video clip of Moses post view. This is Moses executive. I picked one of our sample files of the transportation analysis. This is to show you the workflow with the frequency domain load cases. As you see, the system has a best render jacket, and I render hydrodynamic and motion analysis, and structural analysis, and did member and fatigue check. Here is the drop down menu. Select options for code check and type of report. The options here are all from SOX post. And same for the fatigue. After the analysis, two SOX time results are generated as a result of this post and fatigue command. One is the text based result file, and this is the same format with the SOX listing file. And the other is the GUI result viewer. This is Moses post view that has the same functionality with the SOX. Here, this box section is the steepness of the barge. So it was hidden in the executive because it is inside the panel model. We can see the structural analysis result of each beam and see the moment diagram and get a detailed report. This detailed report has the information of the structural analysis and code checking result. Moses post view has a built-in module for the connection, joint connection check. To do it, we need to set up some parameters with this joint can setting step. Then after the setting, click review joint can tab here. Here and then select the connection you want to get the report. Then Moses Post gives you a connection punching chair check report. So it has the similar functionality with the member check. So you can get a detailed, detailed report of the connection. All the parameters Moses used for the punching chair check is listed here. The other features it has is we can see the deflections. We can visualize the deflections for each load case. And also we can draw the unity check diagram and moment diagram directly into the model here. This is the end of the video clip. And this is all I want to talk about new MOSES structural post processors. Thank you for joining our Copy Corner today. Bye. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.